right. Sweet. If that nut doesn't come off and the whole rod comes out, that's when you're in big trouble. Yeah. <laughs> He's making a puller here, using the nut that he took off, and one of the bolts. What did the manual say, if it's loaded, or if it's... If it's unloaded, it should be all the way out, so this thing is off in the, uh, here's a longer one, you want to? The 40's compressor shut down, they're supposed to unload, which would put push that piston all the way out towards us, and we shouldn't have to pull it like this. Which means there was an issue with the slide valve as you it got was. It? Yep. A little tight? A little, a little bit. It's all right. We'll work it back and forth a few times to loosen it up. And then pull it all the way out so it doesn't knock. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Take the nut off. And then actually keep the, keep the puck out, but push this back just a little bit to give you the clearance because you're so tight with this flange. Keep this out? Work. Yeah, yeah, just push push in here with the nut, with, with the uh, bolt, I'm sorry. That's the actual slide valve. Nope. See, it's not coming off, huh? Did you just come right out? It did. Yours, is, yours looks tighter. Throw the nut on there to protect those threads. Nice. Where's those channel locks? Absolutely. Here, just take that, take that nut all the way off. Just grab the puck. Might be some oil behind there. Look at that. That's it. Nice. So that is your actual slide valve in there. It changes the surface area across the screws, and that is the piston. That moves it. Sweet. Nice.